welcome boys and girls i am alpha barbarian and today i'm starting our new let's play series of uh, tropic of 5 and uh, we'll be doing the main campaign in this let's play playthrough so this is the first uh, this is the main campaign and here we start uh, we've got to choose a dynasty so I think uh, we'll go with the name Lannisters because a Lannister always pays his debt we confirm it and uh, what do we have now okay so we've got this guy and we've got some options first of all we make him a male Felipe does not sound that good Federico sounds nice uh, general has uh, two more damage uh, that the soldiers inflict service building construction cost uh, decrease by 10% Detects hidden rule in tropical. Okay, okay, nope, nope. Celebrity sounds nice, so, so we'll go with the uh, celebrity. Yeah, celebrity it is uh, Asian, Caucasian, Latino, African. So we'll go with the uh, Asian, Asian. Phase 2 costume is dictator, green is nice, brown is nice, beard we'll have to change. Okay, this is the hairstyle. So, yes, I like the cornrows. We give it a uh, punk punk. Yes, hat, none, accessories. Look up, look up. Look up, you. Yeah, that's it. This is how my dictator looks. You know those people who established dynasties so powerful that their names echo through the centuries? I'm one of them. New world, no opportunities, no limits. This island of mine could become anything. It could be a farmer's heaven, the fields reaching the horizon, and the markets full of people. Or it could be a production powerhouse, with chimneys reaching the sky, and docks busy with all sorts of exotic goods. Or it could be the paradise on earth. A magnet for travelers from all over the world. A place for fiesta and fun. Sir, we're docking the ship, sir. For now, it's just a dirt poor piece of land in the middle of the ocean. Let's make it shine. Yes, let's make it shine. So this is the first mission, a new dawn, uh, we've got to win our independence. Uh, the presets, economic difficulty, political difficulty and uh, disaster difficulty or uh, how often that happens is good enough. Uh, we'll f play the first uh, island, Koya de Fortuna. So, let's see how this goes. Ah, uh, the Caribbean. A lush and untamed land. My new home. Beautiful and full of promise. A new beginning, far from the politics of the old world. A chance to start fresh and do things my way. I'm tired of the musty weather and rigid thinking back home. I need a change. I was appointed governor of this island. Not that anyone else wanted the job anyway. My unique approach to government will make this colony the most prosperous in the Caribbean. Huh, how hard can it be? You just need some planks, a few nails, and a trusty advisor to shout at. 
<laughs> okay. So we've got the um, Welcome to the Caribbean, Governor. Allow me to introduce myself, Lord Oaksworth, His Majesty's emissary to the region. His Majesty has graciously given you this colony to rule in his name for a number of years indicated by your mandate. Complete the task sent uh, by His Majesty and I'll make sure that you get your extensions to your term as Governor. Okay, lo Lord Ek Oaksworth. Okay, so here we start with our very first task. Which one do we select? Which one? This one. Greetings, old chap. Have I got a deal for you today? As Crown representative, I can offer you your very own trading license. I can start you off with the silver package that includes the trading license and a free trade ship. However, for a man such as yourself, I have to recommend the platinum package. The, that includes all features of the silver package as well as not one, not two, but three special trade offers to start you off. Fine, I'll go with the platinum package. Fine, happy? Happy are you? His Majesty needs money to build a new underwater palace. He wants you to begin growing money. I mean, one of those crops that make heaps of cash. Okay, okay. So, these guys have that humorous, uh, subtle and... Uh, yes, humorous and subtle uh, tone of dictatorship going around. <laughs> Which is nice. Uh, carry out His uh, Majesty's wishes and you will be rewarded with an extension to your mandate as well as other benefits. Okay, so first thing is uh, we've got to build a sugar plantation. And uh, I think that is available here. So we make it here. Where do we make it? Uh, here is where we make it. Here. Sugar plantation made. Roads my very first road as the governor oh no 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 I don't want it like that or we could yes this is how I want it still not connecting ok so now it is connected uh, let's fast forward time because the Plantation construction takes quite a lot of time. Let's see how the construction is. So you've got four construction workers. Second story, third story. And it's completed. So this is uh, sugar. No, it's, it's not sugar. Sugar His says. Royal Majesty has instructed me to present you with this letter of commendation for your achievements in the name of the Empire. His Majesty is satisfied with your progress. He has extended your mandate as a show of gratitude. In addition, you can tell, turn in the letter of commendation for one of these fabulous rewards. So we've got four options and I think a personal gift sounds the most lucrative one. So here it is, personal gift. <laughs> My Swiss, bank, uh, Swiss bank account. I'm gonna make it huge. Technological yes, uh, progress is the path to autonomy, Governor. We need more scientists to think important thoughts and discover new stuff. Yes, researching new technologies will allow us to improve our economy and society and help us break the shackles of our imperial masters. Research buildings require educated workers. You may hire them from abroad. Fine. So we'll build a library in front of our palace. Uh, where's the pa our library? Yes. So we build a library over here. Uh, I think this mine, uh, we can use that mine to export stuff uh, and it's not unlocked. Mining is not unlocked uh, but then you 
can explore it so that the time is a lot here and we'll start with trading and see if we can we are just importing for now uh, 500 200 this is giving us 500 this is giving us 450 this is giving us 270 so we take this nothing else there so for now that will be enough uh, while we are at it uh, we might also build uh, another plantation okay, this is what corn so we'll build a uh, coffee because uh, coffee probably will uh, have huge have huge um, have huge uh, export so let's see change crop to coffee yes coffee selected that's nice New library is made. Uh, Technological progress is the path to autonomy, Governor. We need more scientists to think important thoughts and discover new stuff. No, we, we've seen that already. Um, exports. Uh, we are the shadows that move the world. We rule in secret. We are the salvation of mankind. We are the order, and you will be one of us. I have been watching you. Uh, I've been watching your career with interest, Governor. I sense great potential in you. However, joining the order is not so trivial. You must first prove yourself, gain your independence from the crown, and you will be one of us. So the objective is to declare independence. We have uh, to have at least 50% support before we can uh, declare independence. This is the 50% support that is required. So mines currently it's uh, sitting at uh, 29. That's okay. What offers do we have? Still, uh, that's the best we can do. 